Hey, welcome back to the second video of the soup maker that I just bought. Now, if you uh, didn't watch the first video, uh, I was interested in the Soup Maker Pro, but over $200 uh, is not in my budget. So after some research, some heavy research, I found this one on eBay for $70 posted from Melbourne, probably made in China because they're all made in China anyway. Exactly the same as the Soup Mate Pro, but might be some differences. This one has a digital display, the five buttons down there for the various functions. The jug is exactly the same size as a Soup Mate Pro. All of them are the same actually, except this is made of plastic. Not too happy about that. Um, so I'd be interested to know if anyone's got one out there that's actually glass. Uh, maybe the Soup Mate Pros are glass, maybe that's why they're $200, but that uh, doesn't seem right. Anyway, I've um, been following the instructions with it, and I'm ready to use it for the first time. I've washed the uh, container out, as you should with any uh, new thing you buy. Now the interesting thing is, when they do the ads for the Soup Mate Pro, when you make chicken soup, for example, it says add the raw chicken. Now I don't like that idea anyway, but the interesting thing is that in these instructions, they actually tell you do not add raw meat. All meats, fish and uh, all meats and fish must be pre-cooked. So that's interesting. Um, I can't see how the soup mate would actually cook the meat properly anyway, but uh, to be on the safe side for bacteria, salmonella, all those things you can get today, uh, it's better to pre-cook it and the instructions tell you to pre-cook it. I'd like to know if anyone out there with a Soup Mate Pro actually has made chicken soup and hasn't pre-cooked it. It's actually just bunged in the raw chicken to see what the results are. Anyway, okay, so we're ready now. We've got our chicken that I've cooked. I've just browned the chicken and cooked it in some uh, stock, some chicken stock. I've got some celery, some carrots, onion, garlic. I've got uh, some thyme and parsley I'm going to add, some pepper and salt, and uh, just one potato. So um, I'm going to start out, I'm just going to put the, the vegetables in first. So we'll uh, just grab the potato. Uh, excuse fingers, but hands are clean anyway, and I'm the only one that's eating it, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, so we'll just bung them all in there, as it says to do. Alright, so that's the potato going in. The celery, we'll bung all the celery in there like that. We will grab the carrots, onion and garlic and just toss that in. I'll just skew some fingers. I'll just uh, scrape that down off the plate so I get everything. Garlic's good for the blood, especially winter time. Garlic's excellent for colds and flus, as you probably all know. So we can see our vegetables in our Thing. Now I'm going to add the chicken and uh, I'm just going to have to drain the chicken a little bit first I think because it's um, got a lot of uh, chicken stock there so I'll be back in a sec when I've done that. Okay so uh, alright I've added in the chicken, chicken stock, some thyme, some parsley and uh, it's ready to go. Let's um, hope for the best. I've added some salt, uh, some pepper, but I haven't added salt yet because I'll add salt later. And um, we'll bung this on. Turn it on. <coughs> now it's got E2. What's that? Error? Probably. Okay, that's gone off. Alright, put that on. Push in the um, lid, lock it down. All right, let's hope for the best. We go, uh, I want a smooth suit, on off, smooth suit. I've done that, it's counting away. And we just hope for the best. So uh, I'll come back a little bit later. Okay, so uh, I've got it on and running. It's got a timer and temperature thing on there. That's quite good actually. It's telling me how hot it's getting and how long it's taking. So it's only been on for two and a half minutes so far. So I'm going to sit here and watch it and see how it goes. It should take, uh, for a smooth soup, it should take 20 minutes. Now of course I might pause this recording in between 
Uh, of course, I'm not going to let you sit here and watch 20 minutes of a soup being made, but let's hope for the best. I'll be back soon. Just a quick uh, follow-up. 71 degrees at the moment. It's boiling away in there. And 4 minutes and 15 seconds. So, we're hoping for the best. I didn't, uh, wasn't sure how much of each vegetable and chicken to put in there. So what I've done is I've diced up uh, one whole chicken breast and cooked it. Uh, the vegetables, just two carrots, two sticks of celery, one potato, one onion and garlic and the chicken stock. Of course using Campbell's real chicken stock. Okay, um, uh, Campbell's if you're watching, um, how about something for promoting you there? Campbell's real chicken stock. As Manu from MKR would say, after all, you can't fake real flavor. <laughs> anyway, so we'll check on this again in a minute. So six minutes into it, six and a half minutes, and it's almost at uh, over 90 degrees. Uh, I like the display on this, They're 92 degrees Celsius. And it's boiling away. Looking quite good actually so far. It's certainly doing what it's supposed to at the moment. But as I say, I'm a bit concerned about those rubber things. Uh, the rubber pieces. Uh, even my Nutra uh, Blast, Nutra Bullet I should say. There it is. The Nutra Bullet. Yes, I bought one. That is brilliant. And that has hard plastic or very hard... Um, uh, metal parts anyway, and it uh, goes through quite a rigorous test and still lasts me quite okay. So um, this is working away quite nicely. 95 degrees now, really bubbling away there, and we'll come back. Okay, uh, eight minutes. It just sort of stopped the boil process and started its first um, churn. So chop the thing. Uh, didn't do a lot, just go a couple of spins, but uh, you can see there it's sort of made a bunch of things. I just hope it's still okay. It's not really making any noise at the moment. Uh, it's still bubbling. Starting boil. It got up to almost 100 degrees, 97 it topped. Okay, it's heating back up again, so it's boiling again. You can see it's that pushing. Uh, as it bubbles, it's pushing the pushing it around a little bit. That's quite interesting. At the moment, it looks like a nice chunky soup, but I want a smooth soup. Let's see how it goes. All right, coming back nine minutes into it. Uh, now we're twelve minutes into it. Ninety-seven degrees. It's still boiling. It's been boiling away there quite well. I guess the potato would be the hardest one in the end. I'll cut it up. You got to cut all your veggies and meats and everything into uh, about two to three centimeter cubes. That's what it recommends. Makes it easier and makes sense. But as I said uh, before, if you didn't hear me, this one says do not add raw food, raw meat. Uh, you must pre-cook all your meat and fish uh, before you put it in this thing. Now the Soupmate Pro advertises it as using raw chicken. I never liked that idea to begin with. It doesn't sound right to me uh, for cooking a soup for 20 minutes, you know, but I'm no expert. But this advises you in the instructions, do not add raw food and do not add frozen vegetables. You know, everything must be at room temperature. Um, you know, maybe that's to do with the plastic container. I don't know. Like I said, that jug is plastic, not glass. So, but you know, seventy dollars as opposed to uh, two hundred dollars. Uh, we'll see how it works. It's so far it's been quite well. There we go. Now she just started up. She just went for a spin. A little spin. Thirteen minutes into it, and it's going to boil it more. No, didn't want to spin it enough yet. Just gave it a little bit of a turn. Interesting. And we'll come back. Okay, it's just quietened down the boiling process again. It's now 15 and a half minutes. I'm assuming it's probably going to go for a good spin now because it's supposed to be finished in 20 minutes. Still boiling away. 
but the temperature is dropping down. It's 94 now. Must be bringing it down a little bit. Still bubbling away quite well at the top, see? Doing quite a good job so far. And we wait and see what the end result is. 94, 93, 16 minutes with 4 minutes to go. And we'll come back. Okay, I'll just come back real quick. Here we go. Here we go. There's, uh, temperature's still up, but uh, oh, just went for a little spin. Sixteen and a half minutes, isn't it? Just a little spin then. It needs a good spin before it uh, ready. Maybe it's determining those veggies are cooked or not cooked. I don't know. Three minutes to go. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay, so we got. I'll leave this running now. We have just a couple of minutes to go according to this. Smooth soup's only supposed to take 20 minutes. Still needs a couple of good spins though. 17 and a half minutes so far. Still boiling away. I like the display. It tells you how hot it is and as, as well as the time. That's, that's very good. Remember, this is not the Soupmate Pro. This one I bought on eBay for seventy dollars. It didn't come in a marked box. It was just a plain box that it came in. They're shipped out of Melbourne, seventy dollars, including the postage from uh, Melbourne. It's probably made in China, like everything is today. Uh, but it, it's exactly the same as a lot of the soup makers out there. The Soupmate Pro and all this. It's got all the same functions: chunky soup, smooth soup, blend, reheat. Um, you know, boil, steam, blend, all that. Um, but it was only $70, but it does have a plastic jug, a few things that I'm not too thrilled about, uh, but I'll see how it holds up to the test. Yep, here we go, here we go. Yes, oh, little spin, little spin. Not quite the full spin that I expected it yet. No, it's just getting there. Probably just still going through a little bit of a boil process. 96, 97 degrees. Still waiting, still waiting, 18, 19 minutes, it needs at least a good spin for a minute or 30 seconds, so we'll see what happens. For it to be smooth, it's got to be a lot smoother than that. Maybe I put too many vegetables in, I don't know, maybe I put too much in, I didn't measure, I didn't water, I just... Put in, as I said, no more than a 1.7 litre maximum. So I just used my eyes and observant and didn't want to overfill it. Like the Nutribullet, you learn from experience how much you put in there to get nice flavours without stressing the thing. That's at 99 degrees. 20 seconds to go. Maybe it's going to give the spin at the end. It needs a good spin. Still haven't spun yet, 99 degrees. Twenty minutes, twenty oh one, oh, it's still going. Well it does say in the book twenty minutes for a smooth soup. But on the uh, video that came with this thing it did say thirty minutes. Um, but you know, that's that's fine, thirty minutes. I mean you imagine you put this on in the morning, you or the night time you go up, you have a shower and you come out of your shower and you know, change and then your soup's already. So it's still going. So um, we'll see what happens. I'll come back again. Okay, it's just started blending. It's already blending now. 21 minutes. Oh. Sounds like it was having a bit of a hard time there. It sounds too healthy, it sounds like it's struggling, to tell you the truth. Maybe I did put too much in there. Let's give it a 
a good go. It hasn't finished yet, it hasn't beeped. So I think it's getting looser in there, as it chops a little now. A little faster. You can hear it getting faster, so it must be like cutting through those veggies. 22 minutes. Give me a bit more of a boil. Looks a bit frothy on the top part, but it looks like it's getting there. Might have put too many veggies or too much chicken. I might have put too much chicken in. It might be making it a little bit thicker than it uh, would, so it's probably a bit harder for it to handle. Probably half of what I put in would be better. But uh, see how it goes. 22 minutes, 23 minutes. All right, I'll come back with the end result. Okay, well, it finished at 23 minutes. And I gave it a couple of pulses too because it still looked a little thick. So here we go. Now, yeah, I reckon I put probably too much chicken in, but let's have a look. Here we go. Oh, it's thick in there. I think it's too thick in there. Uh, yep, I think it's definitely too thick. I'll have to come back and sort this one out. Okay. Okay, so here is my finished result. I did add some water. I thinned it out a bit because it was too chunky at first. And I think that's because I put too much chicken in it. Definitely probably put too much chicken. All the chicken cooked and, uh, you know, became lumpy at the top. So I added some water, thinned it out, and um, probably would have helped to pay attention to what it says here. Soup maximum. Whereas I went up to here where it says boil maximum. And that's soup maximum. So you really, your soup shouldn't go any more than that. So... Gave it a couple of pulses and added some water and it seems all right. How does it taste? Well, I reckon it tastes good. Now, I haven't put any salt in it. It's quite thin now, which is good. Yeah. Beautiful. Needs a bit of salt, but absolutely beautiful. There we go. And there's the uh, other part over here. It's a bit thicker. Poured in that jug, so I'll pour it back in later. Chicken soup, it's good. So, so far, so good. I'll um, see how it goes next time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and catch you later.